In Mexico, the nation begins its week on the hills of a number of intense protests that continue to demand the return of the 43 disappeared students alive. Now, while street protests and marches continue to be the main form of action, many are taking on other activities to express their solidarity and indignation. Here's our correspondent Clayton Kahn with more. Rodolfo has been shining shoes in Mexico City's historic Coyoacán for a quarter of a century. He says he has seen politics go rotten in his country, but now with the Ayotzinapa case, he believes the corruption goes high and is at a breaking point. There is a lot of corruption in the higher-ups, so either this corruption ends at once or we will rise up in arms. Yet, overall, the widespread discontent is expressed in civil and pacific protest, much like this group of youth using art and street theater to express their solidarity with Ayotzinapa. We have come to express our disagreement with respect to everything that has been happening recently in the country. The injustice, repression. We are tired, fed up as students, and I believe it concerns everyone. We can't say that politics or the country is not important to us, since we form part of it. The forms of protest take on a different tone here as academics, legal experts, and activists orchestrate a symbolic trial of the country's highest authorities. There is a trial going on. We know it is a symbolic trial, but it has a legal basis. Each complaint that is being expressed today has a basis in the Constitution, and the Constitution states that a president can be tried for treason to the homeland. For the thousands who continue to take to the streets, as long as the 43 disappeared students remain missing, this case won't go away, nor will their call for justice. Clayton Khan, Telesur, Mexico City.